Welcome everybody, my name is Ed Dervis. This is 9 and 3 driving it. Today we're driving a 2020 Audi A6 with a 3.0 liter turbocharged producing 355 horsepower and 369 pounds of torque. Gains and cross the quarter mile at 12.1 seconds at 114 miles an hour for a car that weighs about 40 500 pounds and it has made it to a seven speed transmission and since it is an Audi it does have the Quattro system so with all that being said let's get this Audi a6 on the road and see what she is like so let's get the show on the road all right let's get in the Audi let's unlock and come around you are greeted with turn it on we're greeted with a 8.8 .8 screen obviously touch screen for all the adjustment for time climate control and then up front we got another huge screen as well 10.1 i believe you can adjust this screen configure it any way you want and if you go here view you can have a huge map. Give a little guess. All the information you want. We'll go back to regular skiing. Classic Audi shifter. There's the volume. And then go touch screen there. And then you select. You can scroll and select exactly where you want to go. Like navigation, go back home, you can set the media, obviously nothing's connected to it. And so you can see it's pretty roomy. Quality is pretty nice, nice thick leather. Uh, it feels good. I mean, it's soft to the touch. The wood feels, has a nice grain to it, a little metal. Uh, it's a little cold because it is cold here in Washington, DC. Let's step outside for a second. Let's do a uh, little double click here. We'll walk around. And here is your power plant, the 3.0 V6 turbocharge. Head back around. Now if you look back here, we got plenty, plenty of room to be able to carry plenty of luggage. You play golf you can carry your clubs with you so you can easily you put the seats down as well now we'll walk to the back and since this is a mid-sized car you got plenty plenty of room and step inside you got your own temperature control right there and as you can see it is pretty pretty roomy you got plenty of room my legs are fine so yeah, all right, let's go. Let's see what she drives like. All right, here we go, driving the Audi A6. We have it in sport, because that's how we roll, as we all know. A nine and three. The seatbelt tightens up a little bit. She rides pretty smoothly. Reason why I want to take this car, because this is really basically, you know, the competitor to the Mercedes E-Class and the BMW 5 Series. So you've got three, for the most part, guys. You get the guy who like buys the Mercedes. Guy who's more of a BMW kind of guy. You know, he's a sporting man. And then you got the person who buys an Audi. And most people who buy Audis is because they don't like the they don't like what the other two cars represent and they also want the quattro availability because quattro has been known for for so long and back in the 80s when they were winning rally races nobody else could compete with them because they're the ones who had an all-wheel drive system until later on the japanese came along and yeah you know, start beating them at their game so 
so far the way it rides is pretty smooth you know it is a luxury car after all you know they haven't they have variants different engines there's a smaller engine there's a 2.0 engine in this car uh, there's also used to be they don't have one right now as, as as we speak an s6 which was the competitor to the m5 and the e63 amg so i'm curious to see how this is going to handle and see how it really feels when you stomp at it see if that 0 to 60 of uh, 4.8 seconds really does uh, stand there so let's get down to the location and see what was what it's like for all the beans and the marbles throttle down you know we had a little bit of that turbo lag right there it took it a second to spew up and it didn't really like make your heart pound uh, it did feel a little bit sluggish so I think that maybe in a warmer day you'll be able to get a little more traction out of tires even though you do have the old quattro system but yeah let's dump it one more time gas down yeah right there right there it kind of since we're already at the higher RPM the boost is already right there so I didn't have to wait for it to catch up but still it and it does give it a nice whooping sound coming out of the engine but it's nothing dramatic nothing crazy um, so yeah let's uh, let's go around the twisties and see how she does around there all right we go find a little twisty road let's see how she handles around the turns so far it's staying pretty flat it soaks up the bumps pretty well even on sports mode there's some feeling coming from the steering but not a lot we do have pedal shifters on the steering wheel which is pretty much a very common thing nowadays with cars yeah like I said it soaks up the bumps pretty well we'll go around these S's Yeah, turning is pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. I'm pretty actually surprised after how it was handled earlier. So we cut up some traffic. So yeah, not bad. It's not, uh, I don't think it's racer sharp as you would find in a BMW. But it definitely does have some nice, a nice character to it. Anyway, let's slow down a little bit here and let's take this turn a little bit quick on these guys. Let's see, here the gas. Yeah, turning's pretty good. It stays flat, like I said earlier. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's head back. Now, let's do another, go around the twisties again. Now we got no traffic. We'll give it a little, a little extra care, extra speed here this time around. Yeah, turn in's really good, and like I said, it does stay flat. All right, yeah, carry a little extra speed. Yes, it's entertaining, but it's not like, whoo, wow doesn't wow you all right heading back yep it's got a nice whistle sound from the turbocharger get a little more gas here around these turns all right let's cool the jets I don't want to talk to Johnny Law today you know this it's got plenty of power to pass, it's got plenty of power to you know get you be what be that person that likes to wrap it in the from, from the, when the light turns turns green. But it doesn't really excite you. What it does do is it's an extremely nice luxury car. And 
not only that, you have the flexibility of that quattro system, the old wheel drive system. So you could basically enjoy it all year round no matter where you are. Uh, this would probably be fantastic at a huge snowstorm with the proper tires. You, you'd be able to go anywhere. Where I think some of the competitors are, nah, not so much. But the driving factor is exactly that, luxury car. The materials are really nice. The soft, um, you know, there's a little bit of plastic and you can tell that there's certain things that it shares with the rest of the Volkswagen platforms out there. Uh, especially due to the fact that it is basically owned by Volkswagen, Audi that is, um, just like a lot of other manufacturers. But, you know, it feels good. It doesn't beat you up. Even sports mode, it doesn't beat you up. The suspension is pretty smooth. Uh, and the engine, like I said, you know, once it's higher up in the RPMs and the turbo's already nice and warmed up, you know, it, it feels good. Um, plenty, plenty of rooms I showed you guys. You can definitely go away with friends. Plenty of room for adults to sit in the back, as you can see. I'm 5'7", and I still have plenty of room in the knee, and my knee's in the back seat. So, and you have temperature control in the back, which is nice. Not all, not the all competitors offer that, so that's kind of nice to have. And overall, it's nice to have the screens, nice to be able to put the whole map in front of you. So it's, and all the, in regards to all that, it's really nice. It's very easy to use the uh, temperature control gauges. And, um, but yeah, that's what it really is. It's just a really nice, comfortable luxury sedan. If you want something that is a tad bit sportier, then yes, I would go with uh, a BMW uh, 5 Series. And obviously the 5 Series, they offer a huge range of different engines and so forth. And then, you know, if, if you do like that extra luxury, then I would go with a Mercedes-Benz. And just because it is a much more luxurious, and it's looked upon as more of a, ooh, a luxury, more lu luxurious car than an Audi is. And appearance-wise, it's a good-looking car. Uh, I love the jade, kind of like a bluish, a jade color in this car combination with the black accents. It does make it really pop out. But otherwise, design-wise, it doesn't go like, wow, wow. So in that regards, I think it makes it look a little more like plain Jane. But at the same token, if that's the route you want to go, you will want to go incognito and that's have somebody who will look at you all the time and also think that you're a flashy guy this is probably more the car for you but with all that being said we're back uh i hope everybody's having a fantastic day if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for do subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like this video do share the video with friends and obviously do comment let me know if you like this video and these you know, the direction the channel is going and more importantly, if you have not, turn on that notification bell on. Ding! What are you waiting for? A big thank you to my friend Brian Butler over at Volvo of Bethesda, Maryland, where this car is just came in. It was just returned from a lease. So it's sitting waiting for you guys or somebody out there to pick it and take it home. Again, thank you so much. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Until then, bye.